Uh, let's see if we can get a uh, five minute game going here on chess cube. So, Sicilian, let's go. Open Sicilian, d4, oh, what's the move here, after c3, do I play knight f6, here, and knight c6, I think I play knight f6, just to attack the e4 pawn, ah, so he doesn't play d4, he plays a more restrained d3, so now I'll play knight c6. Well, this isn't a pin, so he seems to be going for some kind of uh, conservative setup here, if you ask me. The question is, where should I get my play? Probably with a6 and b5. And of course, trying to figure out what to do with this light square bishop is always a problem. But first, let's see if I can get him to give me this dark square bishop. Probably not. Yeah, I don't expect that. But this knight is not pinned, so I could think about queen b6 here, and then he plays queen c2, or rook b1. Queen c2 probably. I could think about developing maybe with bishop to e6. Uh, let's just develop with bishop e6. Don't have all the time in the world here. Uh, maybe just rook c1. Just preparing for b file to be open. Mm. Okay. So I'm attacking the c pawn here. And uh, I'm thinking about b5, maybe b4 as, as a plan. Um, trying to fight for the d4 square, which is covered at the moment, but it would, you know, it would give me poking, this knight could poke into d4. Not, not d4, but if, I'm thinking of something like, you know, b4, b5, uh, b5, b4, and then in response c4, which would give me the d4 square. So, okay, he has decided to give me the bishop pair, and now I'm, um, okay, this is losing a pawn now. I'm not sure if I should take with the queen or the, or the bishop. Just take it from there. Yeah, I expected that. And uh, let me sink the queen in here. Now I'm going to probably play knight to d4. Seems nice. So I'm just up a pawn here. I'm not sure what his compensation is. Knight d4 would be nice. He's going to have to play for e5 at some point. Actually, knight d4 does anything at the moment. Queen e5. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let me put some pressure on uh, on this a pawn. He can't defend it with. Yeah, he had to play that. And now I can do this, attacking the rook and the bishop. And I'll take a pawn, I guess. I'm threatening this fork on, uh, on d3. Uh, not d3, but uh, here. So now I'm two pawns up. Um, and I don't really want to take the 
bishop, but I suppose, I suppose I have to now. And now I'd like to put pressure on... First I'm going to do this to, to stop his um, e5 threat, and I'd like to put pressure on this, this pawn here. Uh, let me defend this h pawn first. Yeah. Alright. So I'm two pawns up, and if I can resist any of all of his counterplay, it should be a pretty easy win for me. Just go here to defend the to defend the F pawn. He's gonna have to try to uh, run like this. Can he take here on E6? I don't think so. Maybe he does actually have a perpetual if he takes with the rook on E6. Rook takes E6 check. Queen takes E6 check. No. Maybe. How am I going to defend e6? And I've only got 45 seconds. Okay, I think I might actually have to do this. I might actually sacrifice twice. Yeah, he's going to do it. I don't know if it's a perpetual. Yeah, I think it is a perpetual. Now, yeah. Now either of us has a perpetual, but I guess I'll have to take it. Because I'm running low on time here. Yeah, I guess I really, I guess I really couldn't, uh, Get out of that. Um, yeah, I guess I just. I wonder if there was a defense here, or if I really maybe e6 was just a was just a bad move on my part. I really didn't anticipate this build up on e6. I think it's just a. I think here even he can he can just take the perpetual by taking on g6. Let's um. Let's check out the game on the uh, on the, the engine. We'll get back to it. I'm just gonna pause the video real quick so we can uh, check that out. Okay, so I put the game here into uh, chess base. Uh, real quick board. Well, I guess we can start from maybe here. Turn on the engine. Yeah, okay, so the computer thinks this is just not a good opening. Yeah, and I wasn't sure about this move either. Oh, uh, it's already, it's already just fine for black. Um, he likes knight h5. Yeah, the computer wants me to maybe do knight h5 to a 4 or something like that. Um, yeah, just development. Yeah, was there any, anything really wrong with this move now? Queen b6, it liked. I thought about queen b6 here. And also liked rook c8, which is what I played, so that's fine. Yeah, and I thought, I thought queen a5 was nice here. Yeah, the computer's already given me a big advantage here, minus, minus 0. 0.6. And especially after taking, yeah, this is just a pawn, right? Because if I take, I just, I'm just going to pawn. The computer prefers bishop takes. No, queen b2. Yeah, but I thought queen b2, rook c2, and then what was I doing? I just went back here, and then here, yeah, and my idea was maybe to penetrate here. Here still thinks it's pawn advantage, I mean, obviously I have a pawn here. Knight b4, knight a2, yeah. And back to b4. Yeah, I mean, I gave up, I, I knew, this is a terrible bishop, and I really shouldn't be taking it, but I thought, well, I'm two pawns up, I'll just simplify. 
but I gave a lot of advantage away here. Um, yeah, I mean, I like what I played here. A5 it wants to play. Yeah. I just wanted to defend that. But A5. And, mm -hmm. Peter doesn't even care. Just full blooded. Just take the queen. Who cares? Knight G5, not even a threat. Just take it. And then the A pawn is just running. So, I don't know. Peter is more full blooded than, than human. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it likes what I played here. I played e6. Yeah, the computer doesn't like e6. It likes rook d7, just defending. It's, I gave away a lot of advantage here. It's, I mean, clearly counterplay. Much more counterplay than I anticipated. And now... The computer's saying queen takes b3, so where did, what did I miss here? Yeah, this is a draw. But but still, I thought this this should be a draw too. Yeah, queen takes g6. So what happens? Oh, I just don't even re recapture. I just ignore it and play queen takes b3. I suppose was the uh, the plan there. But all right, in the end, it turned into a draw. So um, yeah, I, I mean he played well to get some play there on e6. Uh, in time trouble, well, not in time trouble, but just being down two pawns and, uh, you know, just had to come out with the draw. So, uh, well played by him, uh, at the end. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll see you next time.